Welcome to the Plastic Army Men Battle Arena. Today, we are going to be seeing eight Army Men factions battling it out against each other. Each faction has 32 soldiers and two M4A4 tanks. There are the blues, the yellows, the grays, the greens, the oranges, the purples, the reds, and finally, the tans. But there will only be one winner. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here, and today we are back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Army Men of War mod, and today we are going to be doing a large-scale arena battle between eight different Army Men factions. We just listed the factions, so I'm not going to go over them again, uh, but each of them has the exact same setup in this arena battle, and we're going to be able to see here who is the dominant force on this playing field. So, uh, if you guys haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out a ton in the algorithm. Let's try and get 800 likes in the first 24 hours if possible. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 400,000 subscribers. Every sub counts. Really appreciate it. And uh, I think the question of the day for you guys to answer in the comment section is, who do you want to win this Army Men Battle Royale? I think personally, I am rooting for the Reds as well as the Greens. I, I think those are the two that I want to win. A little Christmas alliance, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that's who I want to win. Let me know who you want to win in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get into this thing. Right then, boys, let's go ahead and press start right here and check out who manages to catch this Dubsky. Orange soldiers firing out and their Sherman tank actually firing at the greens beyond the way, but it does a massive miss right there. And early shots in this battle are definitely something you do not want to mess up because it is going to set the trend for the entire rest of the battle. Now, I did go ahead and I ran this simulator about four or five times before we're getting into this. Um, and actually, most of the time, a different faction won. The only faction that won twice was the purples, actually. So, I don't know if there's something about this area over here that helps them, but who knows? I tried to give as much cover to each side as possible, uh, so that way they go ahead and get some nice benefits uh, that everyone has access to trying to make this uh, you know sort of a fair and even battle as much as possible no arena is ever going to be completely fair uh, unless of course you just have a plain circle but that makes for kind of a bad like bad battle to watch it's not super fun to observe that so I tried not to do that either way the gray soldiers over here are uh, you know fighting against some greens while their tanks are firing across the river it seems like actually most of the tanks seem to be focusing across the river rather than on their neighboring tanks which is kind of funny meanwhile the infantry is fighting each other uh, on their neighboring factions which yeah is kind of interesting actually I, I never really noticed that before but the tanks seem to be going for far away combat while the infantry is close combat however we got a tan tank over here going up against two red tanks this red tank actually just taking a shell from a blue uh, tank across the way we'll see if uh, that means it's gonna go down to this tan tank I think it's just concussed but it could still die because of that concussion red soldiers getting up here and actually flanking around the tans the tans losing one of their tanks right there and a number of soldiers due to this red flank however the the reds kind of exposed themselves in an area without a lot of cover they should have gone over this way a little bit more but that didn't seem to happen Ooh, this thing just took another hit it might be decrewed not totally sure about that but it's it's taking a bit of a beating Purples uh, managing to do well yet again in this battle, moving forward here uh, with their tanks and their soldiers. The orange is staying a bit more in the back. Can't tell exactly which tanks are still alive on the battlefield. I think this one still is. You can't really tell until they fire or anything like that. You know what, though? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this one is dead. <laughs> oh, purple tank exploding over here, and a huge number of purple soldiers 
going down with it. That explosion taking a lot of their troopers with them. That is no good. This thing might be suffering the same fate pretty soon. In fact, the crew bailing out and catching on fire as they do. Oh, this one's definitely still alive. It's got a gunner up top, of course. Uh, and a number of orange soldiers over here also still firing at the purples over this way. Purples starting off pretty well, but now they can't seem to catch a break. All right, let's check over here. The light greens seem to really just be kind of chilling on uh, their position over here, fighting against the greys. Whoa! I was going to say the greys have an amazing position because they were all lined up in a beautiful firing squad right there, but that single explosion just literally wiped out the greys. This green tank running the big flank on the gray soldiers right there completely ruined their chances at a victory, and the greens no longer have to worry. Holy cow, that was brutal. Yellows over here seem to all be dead, in fact, but they do have tanks left alive, and really, a single tank can win you a battle. However, the blues over here, who seem to be just hill camping this entire time, they are not doing anything. Uh, it looks like they might be taking out these yellow tanks pretty soon. Let's go ahead into uh, semi normal speed here actually they're flying at this gray tank over here the grays uh actually do have a second tank but i think that's it i don't think they have any other infantry alive i didn't realize they had a second tank right here um ooh, green sherman over here firing at the blues takes out one of their tanks i wish it had blown up i'll be completely honest here the blues are kind of annoying me that they're hill camping. I wish that had blown up and just ruined their hill camp. That would have been very, very nice to see. Red tank over here firing out this way. Takes out a yellow tank way off in the distance there. Um, do the tans have it? No, the tans don't have any more tanks left alive. The reds really only have uh, just this one tank. The purples, uh, this tank might be dead. No, it is still alive. I wonder why it's not moving. Maybe it's concussed. Oh, its main gun is damaged right there. I see, I see. The oranges lost both of their tanks as well, but they have a lot of infantry left alive, so that uh, could be pretty helpful for them um, in the event of uh, more destruction happening. The green tank just absolutely dominating the battlefield. The blues going up against it to try and match up. We'll see what ends up happening uh, in this uh, little showdown going on. Is this yellow tank still alive? No, I think that one is dead. At the very least, it's main gun damage, so it's not going to be all that effective. Oh, Green tank actually takes it off out and finishes it off. Why not go against the, the blue tank right here? Why why fight the yellow that could have helped you out there a little bit? Oh, and now the blue is taking aim. Come on. Refocus this way. Refocus this way. Oh, it's, now it's pivoting. The blue has not fired yet. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, my God. This is intense. And then there's, those, of course, this gray tank over here who is now just pelting the green soldiers with incoming MG fire. Blue tank hits the green tank right there, and it's actually down. It is down for the count now. The greens no longer have a tank available. There's a blue tank. There is a purple tank that is now moving, but main gun damaged. Uh, and then there is this red tank over here and a gray tank over here. The tank warfare is resulting in basically all the tanks getting kind of diced up at the end of the day here. Lots of tans still alive. Lots of blues still alive. Oranges have some soldiers. Purples have some soldiers. Grays have, you know, some tank action. Uh, you know, it's still kind of anyone's game here. Let's go into normal speed here. All right. Really, I guess it, it comes down to who manages to win this tank battle at the end of the day. Because the tank is the ultimate weapon for them to utilize. And if you have a tank surviving with no infantry surviving, you can still win. You know, you, you really don't exactly need the infantry to get the victory. I mean, it helps, but it's not necessarily necessary. <laughs> uh, the blues actually moving off of their hill camp position over here. Very impressive. The greens just having to fight this gray tank all alone. It's absolutely bl brutal right there. Uh, blue tank over here. It looks like it did manage to shatter that red tank, and that gives the go-ahead for the tan soldiers to move down over here. And they're actually firing down at the surviving purples. The purples stuck between a rock and a hard place with the oranges left alive over there, and the tans in the back. They're trying to run away. They're trying to juke them. Oh, uh, but there's just so much incoming fire that they are seriously, seriously struggling. Luckily for them, these guys are horrible shots. Holy cow. Oh, well, here we go. They're going up against these oranges over here. How are these purples still alive? You gotta be kidding me. That is impressive. 
Uh, but the oranges do manage to uh, strike both of them down eventually right there. They just needed to get a little bit closer. Those tans were rather far away, to be completely honest. All right, tans going up against the blues right now. We do have an infantry battle. However, the blues do have access to a tank right there, and that is going to start shelling these uh, tan soldiers over this way and take out a few of them with its MG as well. Where is this gray tank? The gray tank could come in and help them out, but it's still stuck over here fighting greens. It's still just slaughtering greens left and right. Here comes the blue tank rounding up against these tan soldiers over here. Oh, man. This is truly the Tan Alamo, the Tan Last Stand. Oh man, explosions rocking their position here. Incoming infantry fire, incoming MG fire from the tanks. Uh, these Tans are not going to be able to cut it, I don't think. No, they're definitely going down. The Orange is being very, very pacifist right here and not really being all that aggressive. No, they are, they are extremely passive, in fact. The Tans now attempting to retreat back, but they're just out of arena space to do that. They, uh, you know, are now sort of just stuck in this position right now as the Blues uh, continue to push into them and uh, attempt to secure a victory here. You know, the Blues are blues are going full-on aggro. They're really the only faction with both a tank. Oh, never mind! The blue tank is down! The gray tank managed to kill the blue tank. Extremely impressive stuff right there. All right, well that evens the odds a little bit here for the tan soldiers because the tans uh, now just have to deal with uh, the blue infantry. However, the blue infantry is going at them pretty hard right now from this river. They don't have the greatest of cover, uh, but they do have the firepower to keep the tan soldiers suppressed right here and at bay. So that might just be all they need uh, to secure a victory here is uh, the weight of their soldiers uh, to manage to do so. Um, the grenades can track uh, that these guys have uh, can track the the gray tanks They're just not really throwing them So I don't really know what's going on with that. We'll see if uh, they do decide to use their grenades or not or Maybe they just won't <laughs> All right, well the blues Just basically doing a Normandy style beach landing right now uh, against these tan soldiers at the opposite end of the arena battlefield Yeah, they're going hard they are going hard. They are going for the full-on aggro movement. Are there any tans left up here? No, not really. At least the tans do have a defensive position now. And without that tank, they might actually stand a bit more of a chance. I'm honestly surprised the oranges aren't getting more involved in this battle. If the oranges did go ahead and begin to assault the tans up this way, then uh, we might be seeing the end of this battle um, for the tans. Uh, and then it would be orange versus blue, which would be interesting to see. But it seems like they just... Do not want to do that. The blue is continuing to make it further up the beach. They're taking a few losses as they go, but nothing really all that uh, astronomical. They're just managing to sort of kill the tans bit by bit and continue to push them back. Tans definitely taking more losses. All right. Actually, do we have some fighting between the oranges? Yeah, we, we got the oranges actually getting into some combat here. Oranges still being extremely uh, you know, passive. They're, they're not really pushing the initiative here. Uh, but, you know, as people start to fall into the orange trap, uh, they get the kills. So the oranges are going to manage to get a number of tan kills over here as the tans move down this hillside over the bodies of the purples who made the same mistake before them. And now the blues are pushing further out. A couple more blue soldiers dying in this little beach landing that we got going on here. Uh, but at the end of the day, the tans are not going to be able to probably take out these blues. All right, why don't we go in fast speed for a little bit here as the battle continues to rage on. The tans are basically just getting stuck over here and the last of them are dropping to the ground as the blues continue their pressure. Uh, is that it for the tans? No, they got a couple more soldiers in that little barracks building over that way. But actually the blues, it looks like, are going to continue their reign of terror. Oh no, wait, they're backing up. Oh, this guy's got a grenade out. There you go, there's a grenade. Nice! Gets those two tans, and it looks like no one's left in that building, so... Oh! There we go. Alright, the tans are now out of the running, and now we have the blues actually assaulting the oranges over this way. We could go into normal speed again, so now the blues are working their way towards the orange soldiers this way, and attempting to eliminate these guys. The oranges have fantastic cover, utilizing their dead tanks, actually. Um, so this could end up better for the oranges than it did for the tans, uh, because the blues have to do a pretty mighty assault here uh, to actually make anything happen. 
at this point in time. So, uh, you know, the Blues are pressuring. We'll see if they do manage to uh, get the victory here against the Oranges. What's going on over here with the Grays and the Greens? It's basically just this weird standoff. I'm thinking maybe I start a timer and we give the Greys three minutes to do something with their tank or else we bail out the tank members. That's what I'm going to do. Three minutes on the clock. If the Greys do nothing in that three minutes, then uh, guess what? They, they lose their tank and they have to fight on the ground with the rest of the soldiers. All right. Either way, Orange is still competing against the Blues over this way. The Blues are uh, keeping their distance. They're not pressuring the attack as much as they were with the Tans. They're trying to keep... Uh, the orange is, uh, you know, at a distance, maybe, maybe trying to, you know, use that high ground to their advantage, although I'm not sure how advantageous that high ground really is in this battle currently. The orange is just pouring out fire. I think the blues are honestly scared to attack, and in fact, they are losing soldiers in this same death zone over here that the oranges have been utilizing this entire game. Uh, grays and the greens, still nothing happening over this way. Let's see, the grays have two minutes left on their timer. Uh, so we'll see what ends up going on right over there in just a wee bit, shall we lads? Um, the blues actually making up to this house area over here and firing through the window. I am wondering how many oranges are dying to this blue assault. I'm not sure how many died due to the uh, previous tan and purple assault and how many are dying due to the blue assault right now. If the blue assault is being effective at all, who knows right now, uh, but it might be. If you guys are rooting for the blues or oranges, I would definitely say that you are contenders for the victory and you might have picked a, a good faction to go for here. Um, yeah, the orange fire is just really, really coming at a price for the blues. It is absolutely brutal. And they're actually retreating back now into this grape uh, vineyard here. And uh, yeah, they're on, the, they're on the retreat. They are on the retreat. That's not good. This could mean the end for the oranges. Why don't we go in fast speed here for a little bit longer? Because the uh, combat is getting a little bit slow. The orange is retreating back, but they're still getting fire output here. Let's see. Did this do anything? Nope. Still nothing happening with that over there, so we'll just leave that for now. I think the blues might manage to uh, kill the oranges. The orange retreat here was definitely a massive mistake. And in fact, most of their soldiers right now are just sort of hunkered down behind this orange tank right here, which is not helpful. Maybe if they were using their full manpower right now, they would be stopping this blue assault. But instead, the blue assault is continuing forward through these houses and and into the orchard area. This is uh, not fantastic, not fantastic at all for the oranges at the very least. All right, well, a few more remaining orange soldiers here, but they are getting heavily pressured, heavily, heavily pressured here. Yeah, I think the blues are going to dominate the oranges here and get the dubski against them. Still uh, 12 seconds on the timer until the grays move. Okay, so there was a grenade there that killed those guys behind there. And the blues secure the dub against the oranges right there. All right. Can go into normal speed here now. The blues begin moving up cross. Okay. That is um, the timer right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, evacuate the gray tank here. Clearly, it's malfunctioning. So there you go. The gray soldiers do get forced out right there. Uh, and it seems like they get slaughtered pretty quickly by the light greens. But now it's light green versus the blues here. Let's see if the light greens can manage a dub ski. The blues are going for the assault across the river. The blues really played that passive role similar to the oranges where they just kind of hunkered down for the first half of the battle to the point where they didn't have to do any combat, didn't have to lose any soldiers. And then they were just kind of a powerhouse from there on out because they didn't expend any of their ammunition. They didn't expend any of their soldiers. And they just sort of managed to get that dub ski in that sort of passive manner. It's definitely, uh, you know, you could call it cowardly, but it could also be considered tactical. You know, that's sort of up to the eye of the beholder, you know? Uh, but either way, the greens are now suffering due to this passivity. Passivity? Passiveness? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and uh, they're, you know, losing some soldiers here. And they've really only got four troopers left alive right now to combat the blues as another blue beach invasion sort of occurs. The blues just getting mad firepower out there. They are losing a few troopers. You know, every assault across the beach has lost them a few troopers. But, you know, is it going to be enough for the greens to win? Probably not. A couple of green soldiers trying to heal up. One of them does go down. Now we're down to three green soldiers right now. Uh, they're still trying to fire out there. But 
but the blues are just pressuring super hard. That's the thing is the blues have been super aggro this entire time after they were super passive. So the aggressiveness of their assaults results in them not really losing super amounts of soldiers, you know? Um, and it looks like the blues are just basically zeroing in. Now there's just one green left alive. Yeah, the blues are gonna win. <laughs> I think if you guys rooted for the blues, you got yourself the dubski that you wanted. And there you go. The last green soldier goes down. The Blues win by a large margin. What a brutal battle, but a super fun one. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more of these arena battles in the future. Either way, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.